Hi, I'm Howard here at the SBPLI 1 Regional with 6941 Iron Pulse from China. Here with me is Alan, Peter, Eric. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your robot? Yeah, sure. Um, which part do you want to ask about? All of it. Just tell me. Um, so. Our robot is designed to mostly to run cycles, so our entire robot is de designed around this ball pass-through over here. So our intake here intakes cargoes, and then we have this transport system that passes the cargo through our elevator and ends up in this shooter. So by doing this, we can uh, save time by not turning around to score the cargoes. And, um, after doing this, this also makes it easier to integrate our hatch mechanism, which is under the shooter, because like, I think it's quite difficult. For example, if this is an intake, then usually the cargo would interfere with the hatch mechanism, but by loading it from the backside, it is much easier to put this mechanism here. And actually, this mechanism went through quite a lot of iteration, and we had the chance to like change a Velcro uh, panel mechanism into a claw mechanism, and if we didn't have like this pass-through, then it would be very hard to change hatch mechanisms. And so because of this, like our entire robot is designed to run cycles and it isn't good at climbing. In fact, it doesn't climb at all. Like we wanted it to climb the third level, but it ended up not working. Oh, okay. So I wish to talk about the program of our robots. Uh, our robot program is using uh, the, uh, the common uh, command-based ro uh, robot, which is highly changeable and substi uh, substitutable, so that you can uh, you can have some modification on the field without damaging the whole system. Since it's, uh, each one of the program is very separated, you can you, you can switch one of the uh, program to another to another without like damaging the whole. Uh, some ha features of our um, program includes the 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 automated. Uh, uh, the automated panel picking system and the automated cargo picking system. Uh, I'll talk about the cargo, cargo picking system first. Uh, one of our features of our cargo picking is that at here we got a photoelectric gate which can detect whether we have uh, we have a ball inside it or not. Since if uh, if the shooter does does not uh, know where the ball has in the shooter. The shooter, uh, when we're intaking the cargo, it will simply come out of it, uh, which, which resulted in low efficiency and high, uh, high, high level for the operator to pick the uh, cargo. So we add a full electric gate here, which will automatically stop the rolling of the shooter once here detects the ball. Also, the fir uh, the first intake system got uh, got here at. Uh, pneumatic system which will automatically uh, go up or down when, uh, when, when we are intaking the ball so that uh, once the uh, intaking process is finished the the intake the first intake will automatically flip upwards so it prevents collision and the other defense of the robot okay I would like to talk some fun facts about our robot for example Look at this triangle, square, and circle. This is like the first logo. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, the hatch panel mechanism, we call it do blossom, blossom, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is a Chinese meme called Liang Kai Hua, um, which, which we actually inspired by Team 95, I guess, yeah. And uh, in order to make, uh, save some space, we use, uh, on the driver ba drive base, we use the chain tube. So we have actually have our chain and our gears in this inside this tube. Um, what else about this? Um, so, <coughs> so about this intake, we have two, four magnum wheels here, and so that we can make the uh, make the cargo right right uh, in the middle of this intake. So it will be easier for the transporter to transport it to the. Transport it to the to our shooter, and um, I think that's it. All right, guys, thank you for that, and good luck here at SBPLI. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.